Hey, it's your professional sarcastic man and seeker of attention, Oz Chris, here with reviews on The Flash number 71 and Silencer number 17. So, on to Flash chapter 2 of year 1, Fear of the Future, written written by uh, well, the storyteller uh, uh, Joshua Williamson and Howard Porter, the art by Porter, the coloring by Hi-Fi, and the cover by Porter and Hi-Fi. So, while testing out his speed, uh, young Barry, uh, during his first time uh, as a speedster, has accidentally ran into the future uh, where he meets a older version of himself. They're in a world where the, the turtle has taken over and he's capturing all the citizens uh, within Central City in order to drain their speed. It's what he hungers for, even as he says, uh, I can hear your heartbeat, you're scared, so it beats fast, too fast, I hunger for that speed. And... The one person he wants most of all is the Flash because of the, because of obviously his speed. His speed would be delicious to the turtle. So, old man Barry, I'm just gonna call him old man Barry. Uh, old man Barry has to, uh, is kind of a uh, slightly teaching his younger self um, how to use his powers as, as such, like the iconic kind of like slide after um running instead of like barry just crashing into it. it's just you know um you know he asks him how do you stop without tripping i slide into it and teaching him some other tricks like the uh how to properly use like the tornado the tornado spin attack as well and old man barry helps his younger self return back to the past with the uh, iconic uh, cosmic treadmill and is able to succeed barry Barry is back, but uh, he hasn't faced the last of the turtle. Not the future turtle, just the turtle in general. So story, f story four out of five. I really, I really enjoyed this. this. is a really, really good issue. Um, helping uh, cement how eventually Barry becoming a superhero is such a. No, he finds out his older self is a superhero, and he has doubts. Within himself, you know, I can't be, you know, I can't be a, a superhero. That's a, that's that's not me. And it's just, um, but old man Barry, um, uh, trying to keep it, um, ambiguous. He can't tell him everything without causing a, a, um, time paradox. Tries to motivate his younger self. Teach teach him as much as he can without endangering time. So he, uh, he works up to going onto that path to becoming a superhero. Good issue. For the art and the coloring by Porter and Hi-Fi, 4.5 out of 5. The art and coloring of this is absolutely amazing. There is, there, I don't think there was a single part where the art was like less than the, any other pages. The art was really, really good, especially here when you see Future Turtle and especially towards when Barry... Uh, Barry's able to successfully go back to his time. Just this, this here is so goddamn good. The art and the coloring on this is so good. And the way um, they use the sound effect as just the the portal, kind of the, just the lightning, it, whatever, whatever you would name it. Genius. I love it. It's a really, really good page. It's probably, this, probably the best of the art and coloring on this, but... Overall, the art and coloring was really good on, in this issue. The cover itself by uh, Porter and Hi-Fi, 4.5 out of 5. Good art, good coloring. It's just an awesome cover in general. So on to Silencer, number 17, Silence. To a, almost at the end, I believe this is the penultimate issue. Uh, sad reacts in the comments, please. <laughs> um, so... Silencer is reunited with her husband, kinda. She hasn't revealed that she's Silencer. She just appears as the Silencer to warn her about her sister Smoke, uh, who is inside the, inside the house and wants to kill Honor's family. So si Silencer is able to kind of slightly get the drop in her and is able to outwit and outsmart Smoke. You know, using ultrasonics to disrupt her. Uh, smoke abilities um leading to just a hand on hand then later on gun on gun gun fights until 
at the end, Silencer is able to defeat her sister and we have a nice little happy ending before the final issue. So nice, nice, simple issue. So the story, which was written by um, Dan Abnett and uh, V. Ken Marion, four out of five. I liked it. I, I think it think is really good. Nicely wrapped up the whole stuff with smoke and honor is finally reunited with her family. She hasn't revealed the entire truth. Uh, they come up with a lie to explain all the stuff that's in their house and what's going on as well. But she's finally back with her family. Good. The art by um, Marion, the coloring, which was by Mike's, uh, Mike Spicer. Four out of five. I really liked it, especially later on once, um, once we get into the fight between Silencer and Smoke, the art and the coloring is really, really good in this scene. As, I, as, as I've said numerous times, in my review for Silence. So the art and coloring is at its best when it comes to the action. And it did not disappoint here. The cover, which was by Tyler Kirkham and Arif Prianto, four out of five for that. Good looking art, good looking color, colors. Uh, good cover overall, really good cover overall. So that was it for those two, for Silencer and The Flash. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Yeah.